Hey guys, it's Michelle. I am bringing you a special show today. I am filming from Newport Beach from a consignment shop called On Q Style. I am going to show you the classic Vuittons, not just classic, but wearable, usable, that every woman and every Vuitton lover should think about having in their collection and keep it nice and tight. You don't need to have everything, but you can have more than a few things. So the first thing is, of course, it's going to be the Speedy. This Speedy, she's a little on the large side. She is a 35, but you know, Speedy is the iconic handbag and it's a great travel accessory and fits everything. Everybody knows the Louis Vuitton for their Speedy. Not much to be said about that. So I'm gonna move on to the next piece. So the second piece that every Vuitton lover should have is the pochette accessoire. That is no secret. I love this multicolor one. She's barely been used in great condition. Got the pyramid studs. Do you know that they hardly sell this type of bag anymore? If you walk into Vuitton and ask for a pochette accessoire, they are not going to give you one. That is because this is considered an entry level price point. And I believe, she, um, She's got a pretty high price point right now, whereas when she came out, she was about $300. But it's meant for accessories, and of course, we wanna use this as a handbag, um, but Vuitton doesn't want that. They want you to spend a lot more money. But anyways, if you have this bag, you know that how just cute and useful it is to have a tiny little pouch. So this is the pochette accessoire. Bag number three. She's not a bag, but she is probably the most talked about piece on the interwebs is the Toiletry 19. And she does come in 26, 19, and 15. Louis Vuitton did pull this from the shelves, but look, here she is. So by the way, this video is shoppable. You just need to contact me. The info is in the description if you want any of these pieces, but you have to act fast because they go fast. So this one is being sold for only $795. The trio that Louis Vuitton just dropped in the store, I believe is at a price point, is, is it 17 or 19? I'll have to double check where you get three of them and um, they have colored insides, which is cute. But of course, I hear everybody wants to keep the big one and sell the little one. So if you don't wanna go through that whole song and dance, you can just get this one for $7.95 and save the thousands of dollars, right? Or save the thousand dollars. This one is made in France, by the way. Um, so the push, uh, sorry, the toiletry, it's great inside, you're never full. But let me just back up. People love to carry this as a clutch. Always, I always see people carrying this as a clutch. And that's why this piece is so popular. Okay, now, in your Vuitton collection, I don't think I need to talk about the Neverfull, but I'm going to talk about the Neverfull. I am also going to defend the Neverfull because the Neverfull is what you guys on the interwebs, you call her basic and boring. Don't call her basic and boring. And I know why people think, oh, you're never full. Everyone has that. It looks fake, blah, 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 blah. Who cares if everyone has this? I promise you the never full is the most functional bag. Um, so this particular one is in the print called Crafty and she is the MM. She's on sale here for $24.95, but she comes in so many prints. Despite whatever print or color, whatever that you pick, mine is in Dami Azor and I love it. She literally fits everything and she does what she says. She's never full because she carries everything. And the rectangle bag actually makes her better than all my other totes, um, the rectangle bottom, because you can stand everything up in here and my belongings are not gonna fall all the way around and go sideways. This is already how I pack my never full. I'll put my computer and my toiletries because I do carry my toiletries and then a little pouch and it all fits in there. And it also fits my water bottle right in there too. And it will stand up. Like it's not gonna flip around. I don't have to worry about spilling things even though the bottle is sealed, sometimes it spills. But it really is a great bag to carry everything. I wouldn't wear it with a leather jacket though because my arms feel restricted because of the jacket. 
Okay, I had to do a wardrobe change <laughs> so I can show you. When I'm not wearing a restrictive jacket, just that's me. Drop the bag and go. Okay, so like I said, I have to defend the Neverfull. I wanted to show you that everything I am wearing is shoppable from the Dior dress that is currently 50% off to the leather jacket and the cute Gucci wallet on a chain. It's brand new, never been used, just came into the store. And check out the YSL heels. They are also 50% off. So I believe that actually brings the shoes to only $300 and the dress is five, the jacket is 550, and the purse, the wallet on a chain, which is really, it's a big wallet on a chain, it's really a small purse, is $13.95, it's brand new, she just got into the store. So if you see anything here, let me know. With that, I've got to show you a great option if you want a better option for the Never Full. This is the Riviera and I can't believe what beautiful condition she is. So if I didn't have the Neverfull, I would probably pick this bag. Otherwise I'm redundant because my Neverfull is this print. So she has a zipper and she has an oval bottom. The oval bottom, it's a little bit smaller, but what I love about this bag too is the cute little pleats, details that the Neverfull doesn't have. The cute pleats, the shoulder strap, so to me, this is more of like your travel vacation bag because of how it's worn and it has the handles. Look, the braided handles are so cute. Okay, talk about great vacation type of bag or, you know, fit everything in here. And it has a secure zipper. By the way, she is pre-loved, but in perfect condition. The Vachetta is perfectly patina. Like it can't get any more perfect. She is made in France. She's got a made in France stamp. The lining is all beautiful. So anyways, she's a great alternative. And the price tag on her is $14.95 from this consignment shop because she's in perfect condition. You can find it in other places, but it's a great alternative because now the Neverfull brand new monogram in the store, I believe is 2100, which like that's just kind of too much. So I'm gonna show you two more styles of bags that are always popular. Now, the reason I show different styles is because you have to use the bag that's going to work for you. Don't make this mistake. Now, everybody loves a shoulder bag. Those are now back in style, like the hobo style bags, really popular. Um, right now, Vuitton just released their newest hobo. It's called Low Key. It looks like slouchy and very luxurious, right? But you guys, this bag is gonna get so heavy just sitting on one shoulder. Um, they also have re-released the croissant. So this is the vintage version of the croissant. It's the perfect size shoulder bag so cute right but now i'm going to tell you why so people like me look at me i don't have shoulders so once i start to fill this bag it is going to dig right there and i'm not going to be able to carry it huge consideration when you are buying shoulder bags if you have shoulders and you love the shoulder bag go for it i learned it wasn't for me but what is for me is a convertible crossbody. Convertible because you can wear it on the shoulder, but you can also use it crossbody. So when I work for Vuitton, almost every customer asks for every single bag does it have a crossbody option because we like the crossbody option for safety, for convenience. I'm gonna back up so you can see it's quite a long chain. I prefer this bag as a shoulder bag, but if like it starts to get heavy, I have to wear it crossbody when I start to put a lot of things in there. And it's very nice that it's convertible. So I have that option to fling it over my shoulder. This is the Vavine. 
extremely popular model. She was, uh, she debuted, I believe in 2018. And um, I love the details of this particular bag. She does not come in monogram. She only comes in Dami Eben, but she also comes in Empreinte leather. Let me see if they have, I saw one here last week, but I don't see it here now. So she does not come in monogram. Um, I love the details of this bag. First of all, she's very lightweight. So let me take the papers out of here. She's very lightweight. One nice big compartment and then a small zipper compartment here for, you know, your love letters and a spot here for your phone. I love the two-tone, the leather. And this just has a very simple magnet clasp in the trunk style lock as Vuitton Heritage would have it. Plus it has the tabs, another nice detail of Vuitton Heritage. There is no back pocket. I don't think you need one with this. It has plenty of room inside. And she's lightweight, which also, like that made this bag very popular and she still is. She comes in all the sizes. This one is PM and she is $19.95, much more in the store. Um, another consideration, because I remember this from when I was selling, the MM version of this was like two to $400 more. It doesn't seem like a lot. The mistake that people would make was to buy more bag. It's like buying one liter of Coke versus two liter. Well, I might as well buy the, buy, buy the bigger one. I'm getting more bag. Do not purchase bags that way because what people found was that they bought too much bag. The bag was too big for them. So you really have to think about what bag is going to work for your size. So I have a small frame and this is probably as big as I would go. And this is the PM, the petite version. So imagine the MM is going to be actually too much bag. And you know what happens when we have too much bag, we put too much stuff in it and then we can't carry it. And then it doesn't serve us as our everyday bag anymore, okay? Um, so that's, oh wait, the croissant. The croissant I'm gonna show you is, I think it's really cute that they did bring back this bag and she now comes with a coin purse, but her price tag is not cute at $3,100. But I do like the vintage version and you guys, I will tell you all day till I'm blue in the face how much I love vintage Vuitton because of how well they're made. So this one is $16.95. It's like pretty much half the price of what you would pay if you bought her brand new. And she is the perfect size, even though the shoulder bag is not for me. I think this is perfect. The other shoulder bags, like the Artsy, can be really big. And what did I just say about really big bags? They can get heavy, they can get cumbersome. This type of bag, like, look, you put your arm here. So you're using your arm and your hip also to support the bag so it's not all just on your shoulder because your body's gonna hurt you're gonna have to see your chiropractor he's gonna tell you to stop carrying that heavy bag blah 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 anyways <laughs> the patina on this is perfect i do believe like i don't know argue with me on this i don't think anyone would argue with me on this if i fill the canvas of the bags that are like circa 2000 they definitely feel better they feel a little bit thicker they feel a little more pebble they have more substance the formula of the material did change around i think it was 2014 or so this one also i think i saw on her stamp yes she is made in france she has that deep red lining and she is very clean so that's the recap i wanted to show you the styles that are um timeless like usable usable that can be everyday bags so we had the the speedy the shoulder bag the never full the riviera as an option your cross body and for your small options your accessories your toiletry and your pochette accessoire just because i'm here i'm going to show you one more bag that is so special not an everyday bag, but if you're a Vuitton lover, like this is the cutest, cutest bag I've ever seen. So she's from the Marc Jacobs era. I can tell because anything with the plaque here is Marc Jacobs style, okay? And she's also really cute with this dress. Look at that, ruffles on ruffles on ruffles. So girly. So this is a clutch. It is magnetic, pops open like this. And the lining has the monogram all over the lining. She's got a little stain on her tag. 
the um, material, the leather on this is actually a patent brown, deep brown, and it's barely touched. So in the shop, it looks like people like use things just once, if not at all. Super cute, super cute clutch. You can flip that ruffle up or down. So anything I have shown you in this video is on sale. If I didn't buy it for myself already, if you want it, contact me. So that is my rundown of the bag every woman should have. Why you should have this clutch? Special occasions. I do not recommend a monogram for a special occasion because y'all, this was made to be luggage. So you're not like, no, you can do that brunch daytime. But if you're out about in the evening, consider something a little fancy, like with a little more color. I wouldn't do this. It's too juvenile and it looks juvenile, right? Like. You wouldn't do that. So you do need something a little more elevated, not monogram, not dumb, not dumb yay, if you are going to do special occasion type of bag. Again, everything in this video is shoppable. If you like this type of content, let me know. Do share. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.